Hey guys, it's Justin from Star Wars Fanatics, and today I'm going to be telling you guys about my Star Wars Last Jedi Force Friday 2 experience. So, um, I went to Toys R Us. Uh, I, I drove an hour and a half there because, um, you know, I normally work at Toys R Us, but I'm on leave right now because I'm on, I'm at, I go to school at IU East, which is in, um, an hour and a half away from, you know, where I live in Indianapolis. So, you know, I drive there after I get out of my last class on Thursday, and, um, I have Toys R Us, so, you know, I'm in line around 9.30, um, there was, like, two guys already there, but, you know, nothing too crazy, um, so, you know, I was in line for a few hours, I'd say around 10.30 or 11 is when people really started coming, and definitely, like, a few minutes away from midnight, I took a picture of this, and it's on my Instagram page, um, there was... I'd say probably like 60 or so people, which was, you know, way more than, you know, 30 people like there was earlier, so it really picked up, and, um, yeah, so the doors opened at a few minutes, just a few minutes before midnight, and I was kind of disappointed because apparently Toys R Us didn't have, didn't get everything in like they were supposed to, they only got really like half of what was supposed to come in, like Black Series Wave 1 they didn't get it, so there were no Luke, Kylo's, or Ray Black Series. Wave 2, there was, like, two cases, but those were snatched up so quickly, I didn't even have a chance to grab them. But with the Black Series Wave 1, it's nice as I already got it, because I got it um, early at my local con comic book shop out of the, um, a couple days early. So I already snagged the wave, so... And I can get Wave 2 later, though. That'll, that'll become more available. And, um, so at Toys R Us, I got the three and three quarter inch, the teal wave, the one with like, I think it was like Rose, Paige, C-3PO, General Hux, and Chewbacca. Then I got some of the vehicles like Kylo Ren's TIE Silencer, Post Ski Speeder, um, what else was it? Oh yeah, the A-Wing Fighter, I got the Wrath Tar. And, uh, if you went to Toys R Us, you got an exclusive poster with some walkers on it, that was pretty cool. I'm supposed to get a Funko Pop tee, kind of like how I did last year with Rogue One. But for some reason, my Toys R Us didn't get them, so one of the managers gave us a notebook to write our addresses down. So, you know, I wrote down my address, so hopefully that will get shipped to my house in a few days. I have seen it, though, because there are many people with Toys R Us, you know, other Toys R Us is on YouTube. So, yeah, it has Chewbacca, Ray, and a Porg on it, so it's, it's pretty cool. So after I went to Toys R Us, I drove to Target, because there was one about... I'd say probably 10 minutes away, and I go there, the Black Series, they didn't get Wave 2, they just got Wave 1, I think Toys R Us the only place that really got Wave 2, um, so then I, I went to the 3 and 3 quarter, um, inch figures, and I, I think they only really got, I think they did get the Orange Wave, the one with Luke, Kylo, Rey, Stormtrooper, um, uh, Poe Dameron, I might be missing another one, but a lot of them already been taken, so I only got a, I only found a Stormtrooper and Poe, but they did have the $200 BB-8 playset, so I went ahead and picked that up because Target had a deal going on, and if you spent $100, you got like a $25 gift card, so I was like, sure, so then I used that, and then I got the Stormtrooper and Poe for free, and I still had some money left over, but when I went to another target later on. I went to a few Walmarts, a couple Myers. I was just trying to complete everything. I ended up, Kylo Ren and Rey were very hard to find. I got those. I think I got them. Yeah, I found them at a different target. And Luke Skywalker, it took me so many stores to find Luke Skywalker. Finally, at 3.30 in the morning, I go to the second Meyer. And I find Luke Skywalker, so I grabbed him. So I ended up getting all the three and three quarter inch figures, all the, the three and three quarter inch vehicles, and I got the playset. So that was the main thing I wanted. Funko Pops, I grabbed uh, Ray, Luke, and Kylo Ren. I would have grabbed more, but long story short, I had to get new brake pads for my car. So you know that's that's more important. So I'm gonna be getting those um, other Funko Pops soon. Um, it seems like the Porg was really hard to find, though, because that was one I definitely wanted to get. And each store I went to, I mean, I know they definitely had it, but they went by so fast. 
Um, the Praetorian Guard, those went by fast too, but I could still find those. BB-90 was another one that you couldn't really find. Everyone was buying those. So yeah, um, but it was crazy. I was out, you know, I got at Toys R Us at 9.30, and that like 3.30 in the morning is about when I ended my fourth Friday, but it was really fun. It was a great experience. I met a lot of cool people online. Um, you know, you don't walk around and always find Star Wars collectors, so it's cool they, they, they have these events where you can talk to Star Wars collectors. Because you don't really get many other chances to talk to people other than online, so it's cool meeting collectors in real life. So yeah, I I just had a really fun time. I know the Han Solo movie's coming out in May, so I wonder... I, I don't know if they'd even do an event for that, if that's even big enough. I have no clue, so... May... So, episode 9, Force Friday in a couple of years. Get excited for that, I guess. So, um... And I'll be reviewing a lot of the stuff I bought on the channel. If you haven't seen my haul already, go check that out. Um, so it's been Justin from Stars Fanatics. Please like, comment, subscribe, and follow my Instagram page, which will be in the description below. And I will see you guys later. Bye.